Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about the division algorithm. Okay, so firstly division algorithm is also known as the long division. It's both applicable for numbers and at the same time for polynomials. Okay, so first let's, uh, let's see ano ba yung, why is it called an algorithm. And when we talk about algorithm, it's just a repeated process. Uh, to arrive to a certain conclusion. So, dapat paulit-ulit lang yung gagawin mo para makareceive ka ng answer. And of course, those uh, paulit-ulit things that you do is a process, okay? Step-by-step -step process that you need to follow all throughout your whole division, okay? Um, say we have um, 673 divided by 2, okay? So, remember in long division, what we actually do is we just divide or we try... Siyempre, um, you can define a thing by the word itself, okay? Ang ginagawa kasi natin dito is we look at the, um, each individual term, okay? Kung kasha ba yung number na nandito sa labas doon sa loob na yan, okay? So, you just have to ask yourself, um, uh, what is the biggest number, okay? That you you will multiply to this number outside, or yung tinatawag natin na um, divisor, okay? This number outside that will result the nearest number to this 6. So, ano na pinakamalapit na number na multiply mo sa 2 to get the nearest number to 6? Of course, that would be 3. Okay? Or 6 divided by 2 is 3. Ang kasha na 2 sa 6 is 3. Okay. This one. Okay? So, ang una natin ginawa is, of course, we divided. Okay? So, the next thing that we will do is we will multiply. And 3 times 2 is multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. Then we will subtract. And 6 minus 6 is 0. And then the last, the next thing that we do is bring down. What do you bring down? Ito. 7. Okay? So you will now have 7. And then you repeat the process. 7 divided by 2. The answer is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. So, ano nangyari? After nung bring down, we go back to this. So, dito, to this one, to this one, and then to this one, and then we go back to division. Okay? Then, we multiply again. 3 times 2, 6. We subtract again, and then we bring down again. Okay? And 13 divided by 2, the answer is 6. This would be 12. The same process, nagre-repeat lang, kaya tinawag na algorithm. Then, we subtract 1, and then after you have reached the final digit, which is 3, the next thing that you will do is you will just simply express the answer as the quotient. So let's put it sa baba. Ito on a different color as the quotient. Oops, sorry. Sabo sa What's going on quotient? I think this is a quotient with na may katabing um, the remainder sorry divided by the divisor so ang sagot dito is just simply the quotient 336 katabi niya yung remainder over the divisor 336 and 1 half okay so this would be your final answer and this is in division algorithm the same goes when it comes to polynomials, okay? So, when it comes to polynomials, what we do is the same. We divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. But the thing about this one is yung process natin is a little bit different, especially for the division part, okay? So, let's go to our example. Say we have m minus 8. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's write it down muna like this. m squared minus 7m minus 11 divided by m minus 8. Okay? Ito yung dividend. Dividend. Ito lang. Dividend. Ito yung divisor. Dr. Dividend. Divisor. Ito lang. Let's just put as dd and kasi dividend yung dulo and then divisor yung r yung dulo. Okay? Device, dividend and divisor. Okay, so ang divisor is always outside. So mangyari dyan, if you, I will try to write this down using the 
division algorithm or the long method it will be m minus 8 and then you oh, sorry not that not, not the square the division bar or the division symbol pagdating sa long division m squared minus 7m minus 11 so same process tayo we multiply i sorry we divide we multiply we subtract then we bring down okay we divide which one so it's the first term divided by the first term always okay and division po ng letters will go as this loss of exponent m squared divided by m is equals to m 2 minus 1 kasi may 1 yan dyan. and the answer is just simply m okay so the answer here will just simply be m and then you multiply tapos is tayo sa division we multiply m times m is m squared okay and m times negative 8 is negative 8m okay so the thing about this one is kapag kayo na nag-divide the first thing you do is you divide only the first term so sulat natin dito only the first term okay next one kapag kayo naman ay nagbumultiply you always have to do the distributive property okay so nanote tayo sa gilid next one you simply have to subtract at remember when you're subtracting you always change the sign okay so ito magi kung ito ay um, negative this would become positive okay but then again this is positive it becomes negative becomes positive remember when you're subtracting you always change the sign and then of course you subtract this one gets cancelled out okay kasi m squared minus m squared a number minus itself is equal to zero then this one becomes simply m okay baka taging m negative 7m plus 8m integers lang po kapag ikaw ay nag um nag add ng numbers na magkaiba ang sign therefore you have to subtract them and 8 minus 7 is 1 and the sign of 8 is positive kasi siya mas malaking number you take the positive sign so positive m. again ganto lang yan ha you're joining 7m and 8m joining pinagsasama mo okay since magkaiba sila ng sign instead of joining them you subtract so that's 8 minus 7 m or pwede rin negative 7 plus 8 m and still the answer would be m okay hope you got that oh, going back and then pagkatas mag subtract you always bring down the rules will not change it will stay the same so ngayon pag subtraction ang rule lang natin dito is you have to change sign okay papalitan mo daw yung sign okay going back pag tayo, tayo naman na nag bring down you only, you only bring down one term okay so only one term yung kasunod lang na term okay so going back we divide again and m divided by m is equals to positive 1 or simply 1 and 1 times m is m 1 times negative 8 is negative 8 subtraction means you need to change the sign cancel out negative 11 plus 8 the answer is negative 8 9 10 11 negative 3 same rule po natin your answer will be in the form of the quotient besides it is the remainder over the divisor so this the answer here would simply be m plus 1 and negative 3 over m minus 8 okay i hope you got that okay um the same rules po tayo nothing will change okay let's have a last example po um say we have something difficult okay something na like this again let's have this one 2x squared minus 17x minus 38 divided by 2x plus 3 okay same same so you, let's have the given in the form of 2x plus 3 division bar 2x squared 17x 38 okay division still 
2x squared divided by 2x. 2x squared divided by 2x. Divide. Cancel. 1x. Okay? So this is just simply x. Multiplication. Distributive. x squared. Distributive. Positive 3x. Subtraction means you have to change the sign. So this becomes minus. Okay? Cancel out. But this one would be negative 20x. Kasi parehas negative. And then bring down. Division again. So negative 20x divided by 2x. This one is negative 10. Mawala yan. So it's minus 10. Multiply. It's negative 20x still. You will notice lagi na cancel yung first time. It's, and it's a requirement po. Okay? So this would be negative 10 times 3. It's negative 30 then again, you have to subtract, so you have to change the sign. Cancel out, laging na mawala. The answer is positive 8. And since wala na, dulo na yan, your final answer would simply be x minus 10. And 8 over 2x plus 3. That is your remainder. Okay? I do hope you got that, everyone. Um... There's no other more examples. Mangyari na lang dyan is we will have longer polynomials. But the rules will not change. Okay po? The rules will not change. It's continuous. It's a division algorithm. That's why it's called an algorithm. Because the process is repeated up until you arrive at a certain conclusion. Okay? Which is of course your quotient. Thank you for listening everyone. And assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.